so it's this time of year I kind of assess what I'm loving and I'm loving the uh, asters there so I want to fill that out with more asters and it'll look really really lovely this is great here but uh, what I've been doing here over the years that now that Turkish um, evil eye which is supposed to keep you safe was given to me in uh, 2020 just before the first lockdown by a wonderful man from Turkey and the following summer I got that red hot poker to go with the orange part in it this was this year and this rose was given to me and I'm thinking that these might look good in here but this is a dahlia that's really really tall so I want to see if it's going to be too much. I've got to draw back. This is a beautiful rose that was given to me. Oh, it smells heavenly, this rose. Beautiful. And it'll, it'll fill out an orange in here. But these would be come up to about this height. And it might just be a bit too much. So I've picked one from in the garden. Yeah, it might be too much. I don't know, let's see if I put it. Okay, let's see, oh, reach out here. Now, see, there's one, two hot pokers. This one hasn't come up yet. But um, yeah, these, these are really, really tall kind of dahlia. I'm trying to get it to balance in here. Sorry, balance there now. Let's see, yikes, that's really loud. I think I'm not gonna be doing that. Cause then you lose the subtlety, the subtle orange there and that kind of pinky orange there. I don't know, I might try it as an experiment, but it's very, dahlias are so loud. So it might be just too loud cause um, this is such a, such a subtle orange. Whoops. Oop. Oh dear. That's such a subtle orange that it just might over, be overwhelmed. I think it's overwhelmed because that's a subtle one as well. Whereas that's pretty loud. So I think that might, I might give that one a miss. I might try one and if I don't like it, I can always transplant it next year, but I can plant one in there. I don't know. I really like how this has developed over the last number of years. This is a wonderful um, sedum. And then this is a beautiful red uh, salvia. And then this is a blue, blue aster with those black eyed Susans or Rebecca or whatever you want to call them. And then the pansies in the box. Now that's full of red tulips. So it's gonna be red tulips in the spring, but these colors won't be here. So just wondering what more to do. I think this salvia, I'll probably dig out and pot and protect over winter and then replant it out in the spring. But those won't work there, that's too loud. Too loud, too loud. This has calmed down a bit. I've planted it with some pansies that are all being eaten by the slugs. The slugs are loving the pansies. So, I love pansies. Anyway, those are those flower beds. Always thinking about their evolution and how to make them, improve them, as it were. Isn't that right, pup? So, you can see when you're coming in the yard here and the wisteria I've been winding. So I think that's looking really lovely. And I love the subtle oranges. I think this would just be too loud right there. Maybe I won't do it. Maybe I won't even experiment. But uh, sure, if I don't experiment, well, 
I might find something a less subtle, more subtle than this in the dahlia. What? 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 Really? No, you won't like eating a dahlia. I assure you. Yes. No, don't eat the dahlia. It's not good for you. All the cats are here. Java tries to say hello to everybody and his best friend. The wind is picking up. Everybody's having baths. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. That's my thoughts for the moment. I thought I'd bring you up and show you my patch of dahlias. This is where I picked that very loud orange. This is a much more subtle orange. That might suit that place better, but the only problem is it's a short dahlia. It's not very tall. So, but it's a beautiful one. This is it again. It's got beautiful colors in it. You can see it doesn't grow very tall though. So I'll have to think, but I have a feeling, oh look, I've got to do a lot of uh, deadheading. I need to do a lot of deadheading to get the best of the dahlias for the rest of the season. I did a lot of deadheading last week, but you have to do it all the time. So they're very loud, those. Loud and proud. So we'll see, I'll think. But these are kind of fun. Those are very nice. <laughs>